At the heart of Askinosi's mission, in addition to creating bean-to-bar chocolate, is creating direct trade relationships with partner farmers around the globe. Askinosi Chocolate pioneered in the cocoa industry what's called direct trade. And we were one of the first people to make bean-to-bar chocolate in the United States. There were about three of us that started around the same time. Now there's probably 300 uh, in the United States. But I learned about direct trade coffee from great friends of ours and current customers, Intelligentsia Coffee based in Chicago. They started direct trade in the coffee industry in the world. And they mentored me all those years ago about how we might practice that in the cocoa industry. Fair trade is a third party certifying model where you get to stamp on your chocolate bar that your, your beans are fair trade certified. And one of the reasons I don't believe in it is because many studies have indicated that farmers don't end up with the premium that's paid by consumers at the store level or chocolate makers at the cocoa bean level. Farmers don't get the money. Other people along the supply chain get the money, but not the farmers. I don't think it's fair. So I profit share with farmers. We've never not done that. After the selling year, we go back to the farmers and we open our books to them. And this is key. We translate our consolidated financial statement into their language so that the farmers can understand how we calculate the profit share. And so, number one, we pay them more money for their beans than they would otherwise receive. And we pay them more upfront so in about 68% of the cases, we're paying farmers months and months in advance. It would be akin to them getting a 0% interest loan on this money because it may take a year before we actually see the cocoa beans in this warehouse. Now I'm proud to say that all of these farmer groups are their own exporter of record. That is a big deal because they've graduated from being able to just receive money from us to now being able to keep more money and so they don't have to siphon it off along the supply chain to middlemen and women who might take advantage of them and now they get to do it themselves. That's all part of direct trade. The other thing with direct trade is that we go there. We go and look at the beans. We have a relationship with the farmers. We know who they are. We spend time with their families and we believe that the chocolate bar that people taste is better because of the relationship that we have with people who spend so much time trying to grow and harvest quality cocoa beans. It makes a difference in the final product.